Hey, hey, what's up? Nothing much. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. How are you? Good. You have a really nice background. <laughs> no, I'm actually at my mom's house in New Jersey. <laughs> They have like you know the fake ones like. No, this is real. It's pretty real. No I mean, wait, you from New Jersey? Yeah, you're from New Jersey, right? Yeah, I'm from Jersey. Yeah. How's the weather? Have you been going to the beach? Are you close? I have not gone to the beach. I'm still terrified of going outside. You know. Then again, I don't really go out too much, so I try to stay in as much as possible. My yeah. bed's good enough for me. You know. <laughs> the weather's good though. It's pretty nice actually. I think uh, I just got back from California, so I think I brought the good weather. Do you have siblings or you just hang with your mom? No, no, I have uh, a siblings. I actually have like this ginormous family and it gets really loud in my house. So the fact that you don't hear any background noise right now, <laughs> it's like winning the lottery. <laughs> okay, so I read that you work out twice a day. Are uh, you still working out twice a day at home? I try to honestly implement some sort of workout routine nowadays. I've like, the gyms are closed. So I had to jump on Google and look up all this yoga stuff to do all of a sudden. I'm like, yeah, I meditated today. I worked out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's a workout. Nice. Yeah. I'm like I'm taking walks around the neighborhood, honestly, just doing anything at this point to just feel healthy, you know, and not taking it too serious. Yeah. And you're joining 13 Reasons Why for their final season. Oof. You're Diego, right? The football star? Ah, uh, yeah, something How like did that. you feel getting cast as the football star? Because you know in other shows, the heartthrob is always the football star. Not necessarily. They're usually mean. No, but, uh, you know, I was actually, uh, I was pretty, pretty excited about it because I, I was able to personalize the character, you know, and uh, I played football in high school growing up and all that stuff. So I was like, Back in my element. <laughs> I, can, I can be a meathead all over again, <laughs> you know, so it was a good excuse to eat a lot. That, that, that definitely sure. happened. Just a little bit about Diego. How did you personalize it? Like, what does, what's his character like? He, uh, he's very charismatic. He's very loyal. He's, uh, you know, he's a very loyal leader and he's fierce. Though he's, uh, he's one of those that tends to think with his heart opposed to logic. Then again, we're in high school, so that happens a lot. And there's just a lot of testosterone being built. So <laughs> yeah. Diego has a, a lot of emotion and his aggression him being a meathead tends to get in the way so we find him in a bit of a pickle i guess you'd say in real life would you say that you think with your heart you think with log logically oh my heart oh. <laughs> i try to think logically but i will be <laughs> truthful and say i am a softy over here love it yeah. how how was the ca casting process how do you find Honestly, you casting for it it all happened in like the, a blink of an eye, honestly. I was in the middle of Wyoming when it happened. I can't. What <laughs> yeah, what? Wyoming, what? Why yeah, no, there? Jackson, what are you doing? I was in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I was doing this, uh, I was doing this modeling job, you know, and I was like still trying to get my next gig or whatever. I had just finished doing Don't Look Deeper. So this is like, yeah, like nine days after I had just finished with Don't Look Deeper. I'm in Wyoming. I am submitting a self tape. All of a sudden, this job gets canceled. I'm like ready to go to bed. I get a call the next day. So like, hey, you're coming to San Francisco. You got the offer for 13 Reasons Why. And I'm like, That's insane. What? Yeah. So it all happens really fast. And I'm really grateful for it. And I'm just like, like, okay. What like, okay. Like, what's happening? You know, so I got to just take it and run with it. So, and and I'm, now I'm here. And did yeah. you watch the season or did you watch the series on Netflix? But like when it was coming out and everything, like, did you know of the show? Fun fact, I knew of the show. But I didn't even know I wanted to be an actor when it had come out and I was watching it on Netflix back in like 2017, I believe. I was just like laying home one time. I was just like, what am I going to do with my life? Meanwhile, yeah. this show's out. Never, never <laughs> Literally. The time. Yeah. I'm oh like, my God. <laughs> so then this show comes on and I'm watching it until like now I think back and reflect and now I'm on the fourth and final season. It's like, I don't know. And when you watch yourself in shows and stuff, do you like cringe? Do you like it? Like yeah, just even just hearing it. Because I'm like critiquing myself and I'm like hoping that I can go back to set and like reshoot that scene or something. So, but it's, uh, you know, it, it is what it is though. I, I don't mind it. I like it. Okay, we want to <laughs> play a little game. Are you down? Yeah, sure. Okay. So it's going to be a day with me. So I'll read off some things and you're just basically going to describe your day. Okay. 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 
So the very first thing you do when you wake up? Coffee. I wake up, I make my coffee, and I make my bed and clean my room. That's you make your first. bed every single morning? Every morning I clean my room. Two times every to morning. keep moral. Okay. I have, to, I have to. It's one of those things. If I need to get my day going, I have to clean my room. If I am chilling today, it's a mess. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. You, do you wake up and work out or wake up and chill? I used to wake up and work out. Now I'm waking up and chilling. <laughs> so, yes. I gotcha. Workout of choice. Say if life was normal. If life was normal, I'd do some shoulders and arms. Go to playlist to play when you wake up. Oof. That's, it's under my JLC mood. It has a lot of Post Malone, you know, some Alec Benjamin, all that stuff. I don't know. It's, uh, you know, so it's, it's like really your cool. Feels, your feels in the morning. In my feels, where I'm just like, yeah, you know. In my mind, like, let me be. <laughs> Go to breakfast. Ooh, uh, egg whites, turkey bacon, avocado. And, All that uh, healthy stuff for the health. Not people. even the healthy stuff. I like to add some waffles in there. <laughs> Midday snack. Oof. Oof. Empanadas. Midday mindset. What do you usually think about around like 11 a.m.? Oh, honestly, that's where I start focusing on, like, I'm usually really bombarded with emails around that time and trying to figure out, like, what's next every day. I'm always like, what's next? And what's next? It could go by three hours and I'm like, still, what's next? You know, I don't know. It's the, always trying to move forward. You nap every day? I nap. I'm a big napper. I can't, I can't hide. You don't wake up groggy in the middle of the day? I, I guess I'm an early bird. I am an early bird. I wake up early in the morning and like. Like what time? Um, okay, today I woke up at six. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it it is what it is though. <laughs> That's why you nap. Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, I usually try to squeeze in. Are we at like around two o'clock now? One o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I usually like to nap around from like two to four. That's my napping hour. Yeah. Okay. Most frequent thought throughout the day. My next project. Favorite golden hour activity. Ooh. You better say the beach. I, You're in Jersey. I know, I know. I, I love the beach in Jersey, but you know, it's uh it's one of those things when you go so many times, it's like, do I want to go there again? You know, I love the beach. I, I, I used to go all the time in LA, so that was really fun. True. But yes, I guess I'll say the beach. Favorite post-sunset activity. So I guess when it's dark out, what do you usually do? I like to read sometimes at night. You know, I think it's, uh, it helps me, like, escape all the work stuff that I had throughout the day. You know? What do you usually do when you're on set? When I'm on set, I'm probably usually meeting in between scenes or just cracking some jokes and mimicking some of the crew members and making impersonations i don't know all that good stuff yeah. just being a wise guy <laughs> what do you do right before you go to bed the last thing <sighs> strip naked i like to sleep in my birthday suit <laughs> Love it. well thank you so much for talking to us today thank you so much for having me it's an honor thank you